High School for this Senior Ruth Baseball Championship matchup between Marlboro and Hopkinton. Game two of a best of three series. Hopkinton took game one last night with a three to two win over at Hopkinton High School as we are set for baseball here in Marlboro. Tommy Ambrosoni leading things off for the Hillers on the mound for Marlboro. It is Steve Breitenfeld. And the first pitch is a little high, ball one. Tom Nappy on the call, Matt Clark on camera for the Senior Ruth baseball matchup on HCAM. If Hopkinton wins today, they will be the Senior Ruth champions. If Marlboro wins, we'll have a game three at Hopkinton High School tomorrow evening. There's the 1-1 one -one from Breitenfeld. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. The lineup for the Hopkinton Hillers is Tommy Ambersoni, the center fielder, leading things off. Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman, batting second. Connor Kelly, the right fielder, hitting third. Alex Barker Hook, the extra hitter, hitting fourth. Jack Breslin, the pitcher, hitting fifth. Dylan Locke, the catcher, hitting sixth. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the middle, and it's dropped by the second baseman. Can he get the throw there in time? No. Ambersoni beats it up. A bit of a slippery turf out there. As Ambersoni beats it out, runner on, no outs, and coming to the plate is Ronnie Sheamus. Continuing on with the lineup, Cam Jarrett, the second baseman, batting seventh. Mike Burney, the left fielder, hitting eighth. Austin Summers, the DH, hitting ninth. And Vinny Papura, the first baseman, hitting tenth. Ethan DeYoung is the shortstop out of the batting order as Ronnie Sheamus steps in. Wind up and the pitch, inside. One and oh. Runner with a slight lead at first, check in, runner back safe. A nice day here at Marlboro High School. 6.30 start time for this one. They start a little bit early. But the sun is shining, temperatures in the low 80s. Leg lift and the pitch, swing and a miss there. One and two is the count. Set to deliver, checking at first, runner back safe. And this is hit high in the air above the infield. And the shortstop is moving over to make the catch. One away. And will bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. Connor Kelly's had a nice season for the senior Ruth team. As he steps in and awaits the pitch, checking at first, Amber Sony back safe. And Ambersoni taking off as the pitch is outside. A stolen base for the speedy Tommy Ambersoni. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one is the count on Kelly. Breitenfeld delivers inside. Two and one count now. He deals and this is fouled away, just behind us. One and two and two. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Eversoni thought about taking off for third, but he returns to second. Okay, the 
Marlboro Field in just a moment. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number two. That'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, the extra hitter, and he's been hitting well lately. The pitcher is Steve Breitenfeld. Behind the plate, it's Hunter Stone. Cam Hunt at first base. Over at second base for Marlboro, it's Jake Naples. The shortstop is Brett Federico. Third baseman, Matt Skillings. From left to right, Matt Farrell, Kyle Carroll, and Jacob Nelson. Strike one to Barker Hook. Check in at second, or almost a check in. Scared Amber Sony back to the bag. Well, Amber Sony's certainly a runner you want to keep at bay if you're Marlboro. A lot of speed. Wind up and the pitch. And this is a little grounder back to the pitcher. He has, has some trouble with it. Picks it up, throws the first in time. One to three, four, out number three. To the bottom of the first we go. We are scoreless between Hopkinton and Marlboro in this Senior Ruth Championship on HCAM. Marlboro coming up to the plate in the bottom of the first. On the mound, it is Jack Breslin for Hopkinton. His catcher is Dylan Locke. Vinny Purpura at first base. Cam Jarrett, the second baseman. Ethan DeYoung at shortstop. At third base, it is Ronnie Sheamus. From left to right, Mike Burney, Tommy Ambersoni, and Connor Kelly. First pitch is a ball. Wind up and the pitch, a little low, two and oh. Kyle, Kyle Carroll leading things off for Marlboro. There's a strike, Brett Federico, the shortstop batting second. Cam Hunt, the first baseman batting third. Jacob Gale, the DH hitting fourth. Jake Naples, the second baseman hitting fifth. Matt Skillings, the third baseman hitting sixth as this is followed into the backstop. Andrew Smith, the extra hitter, hitting seventh. Hunter Stone, the catcher, hitting eighth. Steve Breitenfeld, the pitcher, hitting ninth. Matt Farrell, the center fielder, hitting tenth. Jake Nelson's in right field, but out of the lineup. Two and two. Fouled away. And there's a strike, one away. I'll bring up Brett Federico, the shortstop. That's fouled away. An 0 and 1 count. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to center field, and it is caught by a hustling Tommy Ambersoni. Two away, that'll bring up Cam Hunt, the first baseman. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside, says the umpire. One and oh. And this is hit up the middle into center field it goes. Two out single for Cam Hunt. That'll bring up Jacob Gale, the DH. Jack Breslin on the season has worked 11 innings for the senior Ruth team. He's given up just one earned run, has 13 strikeouts, and a .63 ERA. Impressive stuff by Breslin. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1 on Gale. Checking at first, runner back safe.
set to deliver. A little inside there, one and one. Marlboro took down Medway to get to the championship series. Hopkinton, of course, taking down Framingham. Checking at first, runner back safe. One on, two outs, a scoreless game here in the bottom of the first. A nice turf field here at Marlboro High School. Hopkinton certainly used to playing on turf. As this is hit in the air, over to right center, and it is caught by Kelly for the third out of the bottom of the first to the top of the second we go. We are scoreless in the Senior Ruth Championship Series on HCAM. Top of the second inning, Hopkinton coming back up to the plate. A scoreless game in this best of three Senior Ruth Championship Series. We're in game two, Hopkinton taking game one last night. Three to two, a late inning comeback. In the fifth inning, allowed Hopkinton to take the lead and hold on for the win. Five, six, and seven do up this inning. Jack Breslin, the pitcher, Dylan Locke, the catcher, and Cam Jarrett, the second baseman. Breitenfeld set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to right field. This could be trouble, and that is going to drop deep in a right field. Around first is Breslin, heading to second. He's going to try for third. There he goes to third. The throw in is cut off, and it's a stand-up triple to start things off for Jack Breslin. How about that? A moonshot by Breslin to get things going here in the second. That'll bring up Dylan Locke. Catcher steps in with a runner on third, no outs. Outside. A one and O oh count. There's a strike, one and one. Set to deal, swing and a miss there. Dylan Locke, a 471 batting average on the season, 591 on base percentage. He has driven in seven runs, scored six. There's a ball. As for Jack Breslin, that was his third triple of the season. And he added on to his 432 batting average. Wind up and the pitch. And this is driven into left field. Is it going to stay fair? No. Two and two, the count on lock. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Full count now. Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to shallow center field. Could be trouble. And that'll drop. And here comes a run in. Jack Breslin will score an RBI single for Dylan Locke. It's 1-0 Hillers. That'll bring up Cam Jarrett, the second baseman. During the regular season, Hopkinton and Marlboro met back on July 16th. That was also a close game, a 3-2 Hopkinton win. And they met back on July 9th, a 7-2 Hopkinton win. So far, Hopkinton 3-0 against Marlboro this season. As Cam Jarrett steps in, takes one outside. Cam Jarrett, a 182 batting average on the season, 22 at-bats, 208 on base percentage. Checking at first, runner back safe. Wind up and the pitch. And this is driven in the air to center field. It's caught. 
One away. Block remains at first. And that'll bring up Mike Bernie to the plate. Bernie at 231 batting average and 13 at bats. 353 on base percentage. Three RBIs, four runs scored. We'll certainly try to keep you updated on the Ashland Sevens as well. They're in action against Medfield in the winner take all championship game in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. That game's live streaming over on WACA TV's YouTube page. That pitch outside. And right now it's a two to one Ashland Sevens lead in the top of the fourth. But Medfield is threatening with two on base. Wide up and the pitch up high. 2 and 0 oh on Bernie. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. 2 and 2. Check it at first. Runner back safe. Breitenfeld set to deal. A little high there. There's the 2 1. That's high. 3 and 1. Yeah, he thought he had the walk there. A little early. Swing and a miss, and the runner from first, Dylan Locke taking off, and he's safe at second. So two outs in the inning, Locke gets the stolen base, second one of the game for the Hillers. Austin Summers, the DH, stepping in. That is outside, one and oh. Set the deal. A little low there, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Runner on second, two outs. A run in for the Hillers here in the top of the second. There's a strike. That's fouled away. Just behind us. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. There's out number three, but the Hillers play to run. It's a one nothing game as we head to the bottom of the second on H cam. Bottom of the second inning, a one to nothing Hillers lead. Five, six, and seven due up for Marlboro. Jake Naples stepping in. The second baseman followed by Matt Skillings and Andrew Smith. Jack Breslin out on the hill. And he deals ball one. And this is up the third base line. Glove by the third baseman. Throw over by Sheamus, not a problem. One away. And that'll bring up Matt Skillings. Third baseman stepping in. Leg lift and the pitch, up high. Wow. 
Line up and the pitch. Outside. 2 and 0. Oh. Set the deal. A little outside there. Three oh pitch. And there's ball four. Four pitch walk to Skillings. It'll bring up the extra hitter, Andrew Smith. Slight lead over at first base. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a bunt fouled away. Say lead once again at first base by Skillings. Breslin steps off for time. Set to deliver. There's a bunt up the left side. Slow roller, a very nice bunt picked up, and Sheamus is off the mark. Into right field it goes, and the lead runner, Matt Skillings, advances the third. So Smith aboard on the bunt. Skillings at third. Runners on the corners, one out for Marlboro. That'll bring up Hunter Stone, the catcher. And they're going to throw up, and did they get him? Yes, they did. A nice throw by Dylan Locke to catch Andrew Smith stealing. Skilling stays put at third, and the pitch was a strike. So now there's two outs in the inning. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. One and one the count. Line up and the pitch, a little low, two and one. Set to deliver, that's low. Line up and the pitch. Inside, there's a walk. Runners on the corners with two outs. That'll bring up the pitcher, Steve Breitenfeld. Line up and the pitch inside. Breslin deals. A little low. It was John Waters who pitched yesterday for Hopkinton as he took down Marlboro in game one. Pitched seven innings, giving up four hits, two runs, both of which were earned and had seven strikeouts. As this is up the middle, and it's dropped by DeYoung to throw to first, not in time, and a run scores. It's a one-to-one -one game. So Breitenfeld reaches on the error. Skilling's around to score, up to second it's Stone. Matt Farrell to the plate. The left fielder steps in. 
Farrell was 0 for 2 in yesterday's game for Marlboro. That pitch outside. That will go down as an unearned run due to the error. Line up and the pitch, down low, good block behind the plate by Locke. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Two and one the count. Breslin deals, and this is a little chip shot foul, two and two. Three umps in this championship series game. You got one along the third baseline, one just in front of us, and of course the ball strike umpire behind the pitcher's mound. Wind up and the pitch, a breaking pitch, and this is up the line and it is foul. Two and two is the count. Wind up and the pitch, a little low. Over in Quincy, Ashland and Medfield are just through the fourth inning. It's a two to one Ashland lead in the Independent Baseball League Championship as this is hit sky high right side and it's caught by the right fielder, Connor Kelly calling off Jarrett to make the catch. And that is the third out, but we are knotted up at one apiece as we head to the top of the third on HCAM. Top of the third inning, due up for the Hillers. It's going to be 10-1 and 2. And stepping in. Right now, it is going to be Tommy McAuliffe. Hey, Tommy, come on, baby. Right Tommy McAuliffe steps in. Line up and the pitch. Outside. It appears there may have been a late change to the batting order, putting Tommy McAuliffe in the 10th spot. Wind up and the pitch from Breitenfeld up high. Call of Ambersonian and Sheamus do up this inning. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side. Slow roller picked up by the third baseman. Throw over in time. Five to three, four out number one. Tommy Ambersoni steps in. He singled in the first inning. And got a stolen base. Pretty good crowd on hand taking this game in. Number of fans in the outfield area as there's a strike to Amber Sony. Breitenfeld set to deal. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field, and it is caught for the second out. I'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman, who flew out in his only plate appearance. Well, so far as pitchers duel like yesterday's game between these two teams. 
Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Both of these teams have a lot of talent for sure. A lot of good pitching. Breitenfeld set to deal. Little high. Good eye there by Sheamus. Two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. It's caught by Nelson for the third out. One, two, three, they go. To the bottom of the third, we go. We are knotted up at one apiece in game two of this best of three series in the Senior Ruth Championship Series on HCAM. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order due up for Marlboro. Kyle Carroll stepping in, the center fielder. He struck out in the first inning. Carroll, Federico, and Hunt do up for Marlboro. Breslin deals. Here's a strike. The 0-1, a little outside. One and one. Set the deal, and this is hit in the air right side, and it is out of play. One and two. Hopkinton Senior Ruth, 11-4 and one overall. And of course, for a lot of these teams, they have a number of players that have AAU commitments as well, so Sometimes you don't have everybody on the roster available. This is hit up the left side, picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first is not in time. An infield hit there for the leadoff man, Kyle Carroll. That'll bring up Brett Federico, the shortstop. That was a good throw by DeYoung, but he had to go really far back on that infield dirt to get to that ball. And Carroll just showing off the wheels up the line. Breslin looks at first and is set to deal. Check in, almost got him. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Breslin winds and deals, swing and a miss there. There's the 0-2. Up high, and Locke thought about a back pick. Here's the one, two, and this is hit in the air behind the backstop. It goes into the stands, look out. Count remains one and two. One two pitch down low. Two and two. Federico flew out to center back in the first inning. Checking at first, ball got away, but the runner will stay put. The 2-2, and this is hit in the air over to left field. 
That'll get down for a hit. It'll be two on, no outs for Marlboro. That'll bring up Cam Hunt, the first baseman. Time called. Coach Simos wants a word with Jack Breslin. And that looks like it's going to be the day for him. I'm sure he's on a pitch count due to AU or college commitments. So we're going to get a pitching change here for Hopkinton. It looks like Mike Bernie's going to take over on the mound. Jack Breslin will stay in the game. He's going to move over to left field, and Mike Bernie will take over on the mound. So with the pitching change and the score one to one in the bottom of the third, we'll take a timeout on HCAN. Bottom of the third inning, Mike Bernie on the mound for the Hillers, taking over for Jack Breslin. Jack Breslin still in the game. He moves over to left field. Cam Hunt to the plate. And he'll get a bunt here. Slow roller up the middle. Picked up by Bernie. Throw to first is going to be airmailed into foul territory. Runner from third is going to try to score. And he will. It's a 2-1 Marlboro lead. So an errant throw there by Bernie allows Carroll to score. Cam Hunt, in the meantime, advances to second, Federico to third, and it's a two to one Marlboro lead as Jacob Gale, the DH, steps in. Second error of the game for the Hillers, that pitch up high. Well, that wasn't a routine play to make either. That would have been a Tough play to get Hunt as he was flying up that line and laid down a very nice bunt. One and one the count on Gale. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. One and two. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number one. That'll bring up Jake Naples, the second baseman. Well, Mike Bernie has pitched four innings this season for Hopkinton Senior Ruth, a 1.75 ERA. He's faced 15 hitters. And struck out three as this is up the middle, gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first, they'll get the out, but another Marlboro run comes around to score. Brett Federico around to make it a three to one lead. A sacrifice RBI ground out for Naples. And that'll bring up Matt Skillings, the third baseman. Wind up and the pitch. And this is fouled right into the backstop. Oh, and one. Set to deliver. Little low. Here's the one one. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to right field, and it is going to be caught by Connor Kelly. He had to cover a lot of ground to get to that one, but Marlboro plates a pair, and they lead it 3-1 to one as we head to the top of the fourth on H Cam. Top of the fourth inning, a 3-1 to one lead. For Marlboro, stepping to the plate, Connor Kelly, the right fielder. He'll be followed up by Alex Parker Hook, the extra hitter, and Jack Breslin, who started the game as the pitcher, but is now the left fielder. Steve Breitenfeld out there for Marlboro. Kelly struck out in his only plate appearance in the first inning.
Line up and the pitch, down low. Set to deliver. That's inside. And we have a hawk flying around here at Marlboro High School as it lands on the netting along the third base side. And there's the hawk on the net. And uh, we may have a hawk delay here at Marlboro. That thing came out of nowhere. There was another one flying around too. He's on the pole over there near the Marlboro bench area. And now he's climbing the net. Well, this is something. Unreal. And I think he just wanted to take in some baseball. So we have a hawk delay here in Marlboro. And now the other one's flying away, it looks like, or maybe not. No, he's going to stick around, too. I don't know. Can we continue with a hawk on the netting? It looks like we will. But the hawk has a good view of the game, I would say. There's a strike. Two and one's the count. Unbelievable. You never know what can happen in baseball. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Oh boy. That was, that was a little higher. That poor Hawk might have been hit. Two and two. Well, they're just kind of hanging out there. The netting's right in front of the Hopkinton bench area. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field. Could be trouble. That'll get down for a hit. Kelly around first, and he's going to think twice about it. He'll head back to first base as the Hawk flies away. And oh, now it's just further downfield. So a leadoff single for Connor Kelly. Maybe the Hawks bring in the Hillers some luck, and that'll bring up Alex Barker Hook. That is a big bird. Checking at first, runner back safe. That is unbelievable. Checking at first, Kelly slides back just safe. The Hawks still hanging out on the netting. Further along the third baseline now, as this is up the middle, slow roller. Breitenfeld picks it up, throw to first in time. Kelly advances to second. Parker Hook thrown out one to three. And that'll bring up Jack Breslin. Breslin had that moonshot triple in the second inning and scored the only run of the game for the Hillers. I wonder if the Hawk was trying to get to the baseball. Line up and the pitch. Outside. Better watch those pop flies. They might get snatched right out of the air. Runner back to second base. Breinfeld set to deal. That's fouled away into the backstop. One and one. Here's, and Breinfeld steps off the mound, takes a look at Kelly at second to get him back to the bag. Line up and the pitch, and this is ripped up the middle. Kelly is going to head to third. Is he going to try to score? No, but it will be runners on the corners with one out. 
That'll bring up Dylan Locke, the catcher. And Ashland Sevens update over in the Take It All Championship game against Medfield over in Quincy. Ashland leading six to one in the bottom of the fifth. And it looks like the Hawks are now gone. Dylan Locke coming to the plate at an infield discussion for Marlboro on the mound. Connor Kelly started off the inning with a single. Barker Hook then grounded out but pushed Kelly up to second. And then Breslin singles to push Kelly up to third. Breitenfeld set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to left field to the fence. And that is going to drop in front of the fence. Left fielder gets to it. Here comes one run into score. Another runner behind him as Breslin's going to try to score. And he will. And we have a tie game. We're not it up at three apiece. A two RBI double for Dylan Locke. What a good piece of hitting there by Locke. And the Hiller is in business. And that'll bring up Cam Jarrett. And it looks like there's going to be another discussion on the mound for Marlboro. So we have a timeout here. And you wonder what the leash will be with Breitenfeld. But we are knotted up at three apiece. The Ashland Sevens leading Medfield 6-1 to one over in Quincy. Tyler Dossis pitching a gem so far. Ashland has scored four runs in the bottom of the fifth in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship. So both teams could potentially clinch a championship tonight. Cam Jarrett steps in. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. Here's the 1 0. And he gets a piece of it into left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Will they send Dylan Locke? Yes, they will. Here he comes. And the Hillers lead it 4 to 3. An RBI single for Cam Jarrett. And Hopkinton is rallying here in this top of the fourth. That'll bring up Mike Burney. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, foul along the left side. Look out, Hawks. Oh, and one. Slight lead at first for Jarrett. Wind up and the pitch. And that is high. Jarrett takes off, throw to second out in time. Third stolen base of the game for the Hillers. Bernie steps in, wind up and the pitch. That hit him. Taking one for the team. Two on, one out. And the Hillers have played it three runs in this top of the fourth. They now lead it four to three. We're going to have a pinch hitter here. Stepping in is Scott Pagliuca to pinch hit. There's a strike. He's pinch hitting for Austin Summers in the DH spot, the 0-1, outside, one and one. And the pitcher steps off to get Jarrett back to second base. Jarrett at second, Bernie at first. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Ooh, that hit him. That made a big sound. 
Bases loaded for the Hillers. Reitenfeld having some control issues. And Tommy McAuliffe was due up. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter here. So we're going to bring Vinny Purpura to the plate. Oh, excuse me, it's going to be John Waters to the plate for the Hillers. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit high in the air, and that is going to be caught by the pitcher. Two away. That was sky high. If the Hawk was around, he might have took a grab at that baseball. That'll bring Tommy Ambersoni to the plate. Amber Sony, one for two so far this evening. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get down for a hit. One run is in. Here comes another run to score. And will another one come? No. But two more runs are going to score for the Hillers. A two RBI double for Tommy Ambrosoni. Cam Jarrett and Mike Burney around to score. Moving up to third is Scott Pagliuca. And the Hillers have batted around. Ronnie Sheamus stepping to the plate. Now a six to three lead for Hopkinton. They have played it five runs in this fourth inning. Up high. And the catcher Hunter Stone wants a discussion with Breitenfeld. Sheamus 0 for two so far on the day. Well, Breitenfeld started off effective but the Hillers just getting to him in this inning. A six to three lead. Over in Quincy, Ashland still leading Medfield in the top of the six, six to one. Leg lift and the pitch, down low. Two and oh the count. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Two and one the count. Breitenfeld deals. A little high. Here's the 3 1. Outside, and he draws the walk. Bases reloaded for the Hillers. And that'll bring up Connor Kelly, who singled earlier in the inning and scored a run. And time is called by Marlboro. Looks like that might be the day for Breitenfeld. So the coach is going to walk out and likely take the ball, and that will indeed signal the pitching change. We are in the top of the fourth inning. The Hillers continuing to rally. They have plated five runs in the inning, and they lead Marlboro 6-3 to three in game two of this championship best-of-three series versus Marlboro on HCAM. New pitcher for Marlboro, Cody Cardetti takes over on the mound as Connor Kelly steps into the batter's box for the second time this inning. 
And he takes that one outside. Steve Breitenfeld went three and two thirds of an inning and gave up six runs to the Hillers, five of which have been scored here in this top of the fourth. Up high, two and oh. Kelly one for two today with a strikeout and a double and a run scored. Set to deliver, that's fouled into the backstop. Two and one, the lights starting to come on here at Marlboro High School. There's the 2-1, outside. If the Hillers shall hang on and win this game, they would be the champions of Senior Ruth. If Marlboro comes back and ends up winning, there would be a game three tomorrow at the Hopkinton High School turf. Outside, there's a walk to Kelly. And a run will score with the walk. Coming around to score is Scott Pagliuca. And that is the sixth Hillers run of the inning. They lead it seven to three. Alex Barker Hook stepping in. Wind up and the pitch down low. Set to deal, there's a strike. One and one the count. Parker Hook at a 286 on the season, 412 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and one. Parker Hook has driven in 12 runs and scored seven. And he's been terrific on the mound as well for the senior Ruth team. That pitch outside. Three and one count. Set to deal, and he gets a piece of this one up the left side, into left field it goes. One run is in to score. Here comes another, Sheamus trying to score. He will as well. Now the throw to second is not in time, and it's a two RBI base hit for Alex Parker Hook. Coming around to score was Tommy Ambersoni and Ronnie Sheamus. And the Hiller is just putting it to Marlboro right now. Jack Breslin steps in. An eight run inning, it's now a nine to three game. First pitch a strike. Wind up and the pitch, outside. One and one the count. Killers have runners on first and second. Two outs in the inning. Wind up and the pitch. Here's a strike. He winds, he deals. This is hit in the air over to left field. That'll get down for a hit. Here comes yet another run to score as Connor Kelly will cross. It's a 10 to three lead for the Hillers. An RBI single for Jack Breslin. And that'll bring up Dylan Locke. Line up and the pitch, and there for a strike. The Ashland Sevens over in Quincy leading Medfield seven to one in the bottom of the sixth. Medfield will be down to their last three outs next inning. Line up and the pitch, inside. 
One and one. Set the deal. Up high. A 10 to three Hillers lead. It has been a nine run fourth inning for Hopkinton. And this is up the left side, through the gap, into left field, and everyone will be safe. Bases reloaded for the Hillers. And that'll bring up Cam Jarrett. Up to third is Barker Hook, Breslin on second, locked to first on the single, Cam Jarrett to the plate. And now we're gonna get a, another meeting of the minds on the mound. Second pitcher of the day for Marlboro. And the Hillers bats coming through huge in this championship game. Started off as having the looks of a pitcher's duel, but the Hillers have certainly changed that. Cam Jarrett so far today has flown out. He was hit by a pitch. He has scored a run and stolen a base. Can he do even more damage? Wind up and the pitch. And that's going to get away from the catcher. The runners will all stay put. Now of course, with the turf on the field, it makes the bounce back a little more than it would be on grass. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one the count. Cardetti deals up high. Two and one. Bases loaded for the Hillers. Two outs. They have plated nine runs in this fourth inning and they lead it 10 to three. Cardetti deals. Outside, three and one. And Marlboro did have warm up action. Can't imagine the leash will be too much longer with Cardetti. Set to deliver, and he swings and a foul tip, full count. Wind up and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one into right field. It goes. One run is in. Here comes another run. And he will score as well. A two RBI single for Cam Jarrett. Parker, Hook, and Breslin around to score. Dylan Locke up to second. And how about that? An 11 run inning for the Hillers. A 12 to three lead, Mike Bernie at the plate. Fouled away. Still runners on first and second for Hopkinton. Wind up and the pitch. It's in there for a strike. 0 oh 2. Set to deliver. Up high. 1 and 2 the count. Cardetti deals, he hit him, and that'll load the bases up once again. Lock up to third, Jarrett to second, Bernie to first. And Scott Pagliuca to the plate. Pagliuca was hit by a pitch earlier in this inning. 
And he has scored one of the 11 runs in this fourth inning. Takes a strike there. 0 oh and 1. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Cardetti deals, and that's fouled away to the Hopkinton bench area. Look out. He almost got a shot of his teammate, John Waters. He almost got him with that foul ball. Line up and the pitch. Outside. One and two the count. Cardetti deals up high. Base is loaded for the Hillers. And this is hit in the air left side and caught. But the Hopkinton Hillers don't just rally, they really rally as they end up plating 11 runs in the fourth inning. And they lead it 12 to 3 as we head to the top of the fifth on H cam, or excuse me, the bottom of the fourth on H cam. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 12 to 3 Hopkinton Hillers lead. They played 11 runs in the top of the inning. 7, 8, and 9 do up for Marlboro. Wind up in the pitch from Bernie up high. Well, if you want to talk about having insurance, there you go. One zero up high. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch, up high. Three and two the count. And this is hit in the air right at the second baseman, one away. That'll bring up Hunter Stone, the catcher. Stone has walked so far today. Takes it low there. Here's the 1 0. Chipped foul. 1 and 1. Well, Marlboro at one point in this game had a 3 to 1 lead. But the Hillers. Change that with an 11 run top of the fourth to take a 12 to 3 lead. Line up and the pitch fouled away. Medfield and Ashland going in to the top of the seventh. Ashland Sevens leading 7 to 1 over in Quincy. Line up and the pitch, up high. Two and two is the count. Set to deliver, and this is hit in the air over to center field and caught by Ambrosoni, two away. I'll bring up Steve Breitenfeld, the pitcher, or the starting pitcher. Staying in the game to hit. Oh, 
And this is hit in the air, left side, and in foul territory, and it'll land foul, 0-1. Line up and the pitch inside. Well, congratulations to the Ashland Sevens of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. They are the champions of the MIBL. They defeat Medfield over in Quincy in the winner winner take all game, seven to one, as that one's fouled away. And the Hillers, they could very well be champions if they hang on to this lead. Up high. Two and two is the count. Bernie set to deliver. And he got him. A strikeout for out number three, and we will move along to the top of the fifth. The Hillers leading Marlboro 12 to three on H Cam. Top of the fifth inning, a 12-3 Hopkinton lead. And coming up to the plate for the Hillers it is going to be Andrew Gahn stepping in. He's stepping in the 10th spot, which previously was held by Perpera and then John Waters. Now Andrew Gahn stepping to the plate. Lefty steps in and takes it low. Line up and the pitch, up high, two and oh. Top of the order due up next for the Hillers. Fouled into the backstop, two and one. Tom Nappy on call for this Senior Ruth Championship game, game two of a three game series. Hopkinton up one to nothing, and they lead this game 12 to three. Line up and the pitch, that hit him. And looks like he got a piece of his bat, so it will be a foul, two and two. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. There's the one two. And he gets a piece of this one hit in the air over to left center. And that is going to drop for a hit. And gone is aboard with a leadoff single. That'll bring up Tommy Ambrosoni, who's having quite a day at the plate. He's two for three. Had a two RBI double in the 11 run fourth inning. Gone with a bit of a lead at first. And that is going to get away from the catcher. Gone takes off and he will advance to second on the wild pitch. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air left side, and it is foul. One and one the count. Line up and the pitch, and that's tipped foul, one and two. Runner on 
on second. No outs for Hopkinton. Cody Cardetti still riding it out after coming in in the fourth inning. There's a breaking pitch outside. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. That'll fill up the count. Cardetti looks at second and deals up high, and Ambersoni draws the walk. Two on, no outs. Ronnie Sheamus to the plate. Sheamus has flown out a pair of times and walked so far today. Did score one of the 11 runs in the fourth inning. He'll take a strike. Up high. One and one, the count on Sheamus. Ambersoni on first. And Andrew Gunn on second as that pitch is going to be low, nearly got away from the catcher. Good block there, runners hold up. Wind up and the pitch, a little high. Cardetti deals, down low and there's another walk. Bases loaded for the Hillers. Now bring up Connor Kelly, the right fielder. He is one for two on the day. He has also walked and scored a couple runs. We're gonna get a mound visit. Looks like we'll have a pitching change. So pitching change for Marlboro. The Ellers leading 12 to three and threatening here in the fifth inning. We'll take a timeout on H Cam. Third pitcher of the game for Marlboro. Jake Nelson on the mound. Connor Kelly steps in with the bases loaded and takes that one high. One and oh, the count. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Well, quite a difference for the Hillers compared to yesterday's game where they were trailing most of the time, came back in the fifth and scored the go-ahead run and took it three to two. Much different case today. The bats coming alive big time. Three and oh count. Walk here would score another run. Nelson deals, swing and a miss. A three and one count. Line up and the pitch, followed into the backstop, that'll fill it up. Alex Barker hooked to up next. Line up and the pitch, and he swung for a high one, one away. That'll bring up Alex Barker hook. Parker Hook, one for three at a two RBI single as part of the 11 run, top of the fourth. Wind up and the pitch, and that's behind him, one and oh. Hey, 
Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. One and one. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Oh, perhaps Smallboro should have brought Nelson in a little earlier. He seems to be calming Hopkinton down a little bit since he's came in. It's certainly surprising to see them keep Cardetti out there for so long. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and two, the count. Leg lift and the pitch up high. That'll fill up the count. Nelson deals, and this is hit in the air and caught by the pitcher, two away. That'll bring up Jack Breslin. Jack Breslin having quite the day today. He is three for three at the plate. A triple, a pair of singles, three runs scored. He scored the first run of the game back in the second inning. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. There's the 1 0. And he gets a piece of this one hit in the air. And the second baseman is going to lose it in the lights, but the center fielder bails him out and makes the catch for the third out. Well, after an 11 run top of the fourth, they scored no runs in the top of the fifth, but they lead it 12 to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth on HCAM. Bottom of the fifth inning, 10, one and two due up for Marlboro. And it looks like we'll have a pinch hitter here for Marlboro. We're actually gonna have Cam Gennetti hit in the 10th spot. And it'll take ball one. Mike Bernie's still out there for the Hillers. Marlboro has some work to do, trailing 12 to three. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and oh, the count. Down low there. There's the 3 0 inside, and there's a walk. So Cam Gennetti draws the walk, and that will bring up Kyle Carroll, the center fielder. Carroll, one for two on the day, scored. One of the two runs for Marlboro in the third. There's a strike. Oh, and one. He deals. Dallo gets away from the catcher, and the runner at first is going to advance. So, Gennetti moves up to second on the wild pitch. Line up and the pitch, up high. Well, the other team we've been covering all summer, the Ashland Sevens, taking home the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship with a 7-1 win over Medfield in Quincy. As that ball got away, but quickly gathered up by Locke. 
Now Mike Bernie having a little bit of a struggle finding the strike zone in this inning. Wind up and the pitch inside. And there's walk number two. Two straight walks by Bernie. Two on, no outs. Brett Federico to the plate. Both runners with a slight lead. Wind up and the pitch, and that's chipped foul. 0 oh and 1. Bernie takes a couple glances at second and deals, fouled into the backstop. Oh, and two the count. Leg lift and the pitch, fouled into the backstop. From the stretch. He winds, he deals, and this is hit high in the air over to center field, and it's going to drop as Ambrosoni loses it in the lights, and it's going to be bases loaded for Marlboro. Well, Marlboro, uh, they're going to try to claw their way back into this one. Cam Hunt to step in. Federico at first, Carroll at second, Janetti at third. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, one and oh. This game's certainly going to be on the longer side tonight, approaching the two-hour mark. Inside there, 2 and oh. Well, an 11-run inning will have that impact on a game for sure. Here's the 2-0. That's foul just behind us, 2 and 1. Hiller is leading 12 to 3 here in this bottom of the fifth. Marlboro does have bases loaded, no outs, as this is fouled away, two and two. Cam Hunt, two for two on the day, pair of singles. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is right back to Bernie. Throw to second, and they'll get the tag. A run does score. So Hunt reaches on the one to four force out and drives in a run. It is a 12 to four game. Carroll up to third. And I'll bring up. Jacob Gale, the DH. Bernie set to deliver. And this is golfed in the air right to the second baseman, throw to first. And they call him safe. Two away, that'll bring up Jake Naples, the second baseman. Naples has grounded out and had a sacrifice RBI ground out. It's part of the two run third inning for Marlboro. 
Once upon a time, it was a three to one Marlboro lead until the Hillers had an 11 run top of the fourth to make it a 12 to three game. Marlboro has played a run in this inning and it's a 12 to four Hopkinton lead. The 1 0 pitch to Naples. Down low. Rock thought about a back pick, but held on. Two and oh. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to left center, and it is caught by Ambersoni for the third out. We will head to the top half of the sixth inning. It is Hopkinton 12, Marlboro 4 on H cam. Top of the sixth inning, a 12 to 4 Hopkinton lead. Six, seven, and eight to up for the Hillers. Still a lock set to step in, followed by Cam Jarrett and Mike Burney. Still a lock, he's had a good day at the plate. Three for three overall. A pair of singles and a double. Has also driven in two runs as part of the 11 run fourth inning and scored a run. Line up and the pitch. Outside. There's the 1 0. Down low. There's the 2 0. And this is hit in the air. It is. On the left side, foul territory, and it is caught for the out. Well, that was the third baseman, Matt Skillings, really having to track that one down to make the catch. But he is able to make the first out of the inning, and that'll bring Cam Jarrett to the plate. Line up and the pitch, inside and high, one and oh. Takes that one up high. Two and oh, Cam Jarrett has been hit by a pitch. He has flown out and he has also singled and doubled and driven in a pair of runs. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Three and one count on Jarrett. Leg lift and the pitch, swing and a miss. That'll fill up the count. Nelson set to deal. Fouled away. That sounded like it might have got a car. The parking lot is pretty far down there too. It was likely one of the cars parked along the curb. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number two. Well, Jake Nelson has really calmed down these Hillers bats since coming into the game. Nick Skiba will step in with two outs. And I believe they said he's gonna pitch as well. That pitch outside, one and oh. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. One and one. Okay. 
Nelson deals. That's fouled away, one and two. Line up and the pitch, up high. Two and two. And in the top of the six, a 12 to four Hopkinton lead. They had an 11 run fourth inning. Line up and the pitch. Inside. I'll fill up the count. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. That is out number three. To the bottom of the six we go. Marlboro down to their final six outs on H Camp. Bottom of the sixth inning, a 12 to four Hopkinton lead. Due up for Marlboro is six, seven, and eight. Matt Skillings, Andrew Smith, and Hunter Stone. Mike Burney remains in the game on the mound. Jack Breslin started, but I believe it was on a pitch count. He went two plus innings, giving up three hits. Walked one, struck out one, gave up a run, but it was unearned as this is hit in the air, high in the air, shallow center field, a shortstop ranging over, he makes the catch. One away. Ethan DeYoung reeling that one in. Andrew Smith to the plate. The extra hitter. Line up in the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one to right field. Glove by the second baseman, throw to first. Not a problem. A nice play by Cam Jarrett. Two away. Now bring up Hunter Stone. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Set to deliver, and this is golfed in the air into center field. It goes. That's going to be a two out base hit for Hunter Stone. I'll bring up Steve Breitenfeld. Marlboro's going to bring in a pinch runner. They're going to bring in Zenya Kalani to pinch run for Hunter Stone. And this is up the first base side foul. 0 oh and 1. Slight lead at first by Stone. That's high, the back pick. Just off the mark by Dylan Locke. Nearly got him. Good throw up the line there. One and one. Bernie from the stretch. Checking at first, runner back safe. Up and the pitch, down low. Two and one the count. One on, two outs, up high. Bernie deals, that's fouled away. Look out. 
Count is full. Line up and the pitch up the third base side. Bobbled by the third baseman and there'll be no play. So Breitenfeld reaches on a rare error by Ronnie Sheamus. Two on two outs. And Griffin Gale stepping in. Fouled away. Oh, and one. A 12 to four Hopkinton lead here in the bottom of the six. Marlboro down to their final four outs. They have two on, however. Line up and the pitch, down low. The 1-0 pitch, outside. Set to deliver, up high. A three and one count. Line up and the pitch, there's a walk. Bases loaded for Marlboro. And Coach Simos coming out to chat with Bernie and he's gonna bring in Dylan Locke, the catcher, and he is going to make the change. So new pitcher coming in the game for the Hillers. Hopkinton leading Marlboro in the bottom of the six, 12 to four on H camp. Connor Kelly. Into pitch for the Hillers. He moves over from right field. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike to Kyle Carroll, the leadoff man and center fielder for Marlboro. Bases are loaded, but there is two outs. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Mike Bernie is still in the game. He moved over to right field. Line up and the pitch, hit in the air, foul territory out of play. One and two the count. Line up and the pitch, inside. Two and two. And there's strike three. Got him looking, and that will wrap up the bottom of the sixth. To the top of the seventh we go. Hopkinton leading Marlboro 12 to four on H cam. Top of the seventh inning, the Hopkinton Hillers leading Marlboro 12 to four. And if they hang on, they will be the senior root champions. Do up for the Hillers is 9, 10, and 1. Pagliuca, Waters, and Ambersoni. Pagliuca set to step in. So far, he has struck out, flown out, and been hit by a pitch. Did score a run as part of that 11-run fourth inning for Hopkinton. Jake Nelson still on the mound, delivers that one high. A 1 0. Hit in the air, right side, and it is.
Going to not be caught, but it's foul, one and one. I think Jacob Nelson might have lost that in the lights. Excuse me, that was the uh, right fielder. Jake Nelson started the game in right field. And then I believe it's Cardetti out there. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and one. Ooh, that's fouled away just in front of us. That woke me up. Two and two. Line up and the pitch. That hit him. Lead man on for the Hillers. I'll bring up Andrew Gunn. Slight lead over at first. And this is fouled away over the backstop. Look out. Oh, and one. Andrew Gunn on the season has had 17 at bats, 294 batting average, 520 on base percentage up high there. He has driven in two runs and scored seven. Line up and the pitch inside. Set the deal. That's up high. Nelson checks in at first, runner back safe. There's the 3 1. There's a strike. Set to deliver. That's up high, there's a walk. Two on, no outs, top of the order coming up. We're gonna have a pinch hitter for the Hillers. Stepping in is Gabriel Lopez to hit for Tommy Ambersoni. There's a strike. Oh, with a 12 to four lead, you can give everybody an opportunity to take some swings. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch, up high. One and two is the count. Two on, no outs. Up high. Oh, they called it a strike. Okay. One away, that'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus. Sheamus has a pair of walks on the day. There's a strike. Well, you wonder if it would have been a different ball game if you had Jake Nelson out there earlier. He's really calmed down these Hillers hitters since coming in 
in the fifth inning. There's a strike. I believe the ump seemed to signal strike, didn't say anything. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit up the middle, and it's going to be off the glove of the shortstop. Throw to first, not in time, and everyone's safe. A tough play to make there, but Sheamus with a nice infield single. And that'll load up the bases for Connor Kelly. Well, Kelly doesn't have any RBIs yet. An opportunity to get some here. Takes that one outside. One out in the inning. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Here's the 2-0 -oh up high. Three zero -oh pitch. There's a walk and a run for the Hillers. Around a score is Scott Pagliuca. It's a 13-4 Hopkinton lead. I'll bring up Alex Parker Hook, the extra hitter. Parker Hook, one for four on the day, had a two RBI single as part of the 11 run fourth. And it looks like we're going to get a new pitcher for Marlboro. We'll have their fourth pitcher of the game out there. And we'll let you know who that is when we come back. You are tuned in to the Senior Root Championship Series, Hopkinton leading Marlboro. 13 to 4 on H Camp. Continuing on in the top of the seventh, Alex Barker hooked to the plate. A 13 to 4 lead for the Hillers. They have the bases loaded with one out. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. 0 and 2. New pitcher is Matt Skillings. He started the game as the third baseman, fourth pitcher of the day for Marlboro. Last pitch was high. 1 and 2. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It's caught. Runner from third is going to tag and score. It's a 10-run lead for the Hillers. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Alex Barker Hook. And Andrew Gunn came around to score. Ronnie Sheamus to third. Kelly remains at first, and Jack Breslin to the plate. Line up and the pitch. That's foul, just behind the backstop. Bowen one. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air over to right field and caught for the third out. The Hillers add some security. They played another two runs, and they have a 10-run lead as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Marlboro down to their final three outs next on HCAM. Bottom of the seventh inning, Marlboro down to their final three outs, trailing 14 to four. Sevens, or excuse me, the Hillers plated two more runs in the top of the inning. And stepping in is Brett Federico, the shortstop. Connor Kelly remains in the game. 
Came in last inning, and now he's out there to close it out. A little outside, one and oh. Uh, seems like some fireworks are getting shut off in the distance. At least that's what we hope it is. Wind up hand the pitch, fouled away, one and one. Well, the Hillers' bats just came through huge in tonight's game. Top of the fourth, an 11 run inning, and that's really the story of the game here today. Is that was going to be a strike. I think they might have called it a ball. I think they ruled that Federico just held up his swing. There's a strike, two and two. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three, one away. It'll bring up Cam Hunt, the first baseman. In case you didn't hear earlier, the Ashland Sevens are Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions. They took down Medfield today, seven to one in Quincy. Wind up in the pitch, there's a strike. Swing and a miss by Hunt. And the Hopkinton Hillers are two outs away from being senior Ruth champions. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the right side. That'll trickle into right field. It'll be a one out single for Hunt. And I'll bring up Jacob Gale, the short, uh, the DH. Wind up and the pitch. Here's a strike. Well, this is the last game of our baseball coverage this summer, unless, of course, Marlboro comes back somehow and forces a game tomorrow. But it has certainly been fun following the Ashland Sevens and Hopkinton Hiller senior route throughout the summer. And, of course, getting back to a little bit of a sense of normalcy with sports going on. But we certainly want to thank everyone who's tuned in throughout this season. Wind up and the pitch. It's our pleasure to broadcast these games for you. And give you uh, some quality baseball to watch. It's been a really solid baseball this summer. The Massachusetts Independent Baseball League did a great job at getting some Legion teams together for a season. There's strike three, two away. Second strikeout of the inning for Connor Kelly. Third since coming in. Marlboro down to their final out. Jake Naples steps in. But a big thank you to everybody who's tuned in throughout the season. And we certainly hope to be with you for fall sports, but of course that'll be a wait and see what happens kind of thing. Kind of like everything, now is, everything nowadays is. Here's the 1-0. Wind up and the pitch down low, and that gets away from the catcher. Runner from first will advance. Runner on second, two outs. Line up and the pitch. A little low. It was just amazing to see the Hillers' bats come alive in that fourth inning. You never expect in a championship game you'll see an 11-run inning. Line up and the pitch. But, of course, anything can happen uh, with this Hillers team. Just so much talent on the roster. And there's a walk there. That'll bring up Matt Skillings, the third baseman. Two on, two outs. Outside. There's a strike. Yeah. 
And this is hit in the air, foul left side. Well, Hillers ended up scoring 14 runs on 14 hits, committing three errors. Alboro so far, four runs on eight hits and no errors. But the Hillers one out away from being senior Ruth champions. Line up and the pitch, down low. Two and two the count. Skilling's 0 for two today with a walk and a run scored. There's a strike. And that is out number three, and that will do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are 2020 Senior Ruth champions. They take down Marlboro in game two of this best of three series, 14 to four after their three to two win yesterday. The Hopkinton Hillers 2020 Senior Ruth champions, a dominant win today as they put up 11 runs in the fourth inning. And that was pretty much the story of the game. They never look back, and they take the win 14-4 over Marlboro. The Hillers will finish the season overall with a, with a record of 12-4-1. A tremendous win here tonight in Marlboro by the Hillers. And there is going to be a trophy presentation, so we'll... Stay with you for the trophy. But congratulations to Marlboro on a great season as well. Getting all the way to the finals, taking down a good Medway team. They should certainly be proud of what they accomplished this season. But the Hopkinton Hillers got the high school team back together for some senior Ruth baseball. And they came in and dominated all season long. And they won some tough games as well. A lot of tough opponents that they had to play this season. Teams such as Medway, Bellingham, Marlboro. And there's the trophy. Coach Simos is presented with the Senior Ruth Championship Trophy. Congratulations to the Hopkinton Hillers 2020 Senior Ruth Champions. And it's certainly great to see them win a championship after not being able to play during the spring season. They get to celebrate here in Marlboro a senior root championship. And they should certainly be very proud what they accomplished this year. And I'll tell you what, watching this team, the future for Hillers baseball, very bright. A lot of up and coming talent and they will certainly be a team to watch for years to come. The Hopkinton Hillers win the 2020 Senior Ruth Championship as they take down Marlboro 14 of four and 11 run fourth inning. Helps the Hillers earn the ultimate prize. And it was a nice pitching performance as well by Jack Breslin in combination with Mike Bernie and Connor Kelly. But the bats really got going. And we'll just give player of the game today to everyone in the lineup. How about that? Because everybody contributed in one way or the other. And I believe everybody reached base at least once. And that is indeed the case. But the Hopkinton Aylers, another great team effort here today. And watching this team, I just can't wait to see them play during a high school season against TVL competition. This team should be a lot of fun to watch. For Matt Clark on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, the Hopkinton Hillers, 2020 Senior Ruth Champions. Congratulations to Coach Steven Simos, his staff, and all the players on a tremendous season. The final score for the final time, Hopkinton takes down Marlboro 14 to four. We wanna thank everyone for tuning in to summer baseball all summer long as we had Ashland Sevens and Hopkinton at Senior Ruth coverage, which started this past July. 
and last about a month and a half or so it has certainly been fun bringing you these games and hopefully we'll talk to you from some killers games in the fall but for everybody at hcam i'm tom nappy take care enjoy the rest of your day we'll talk to you again soon good night everybody